people have been watching our videos. I understand. So let's, let's get oh. going. So they can watch this one. So they can, the sooner we get it done, the sooner they can watch it. <laughs> all right, all right. You can miss me. Right. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here right next to Farmer Hoga. Farmer Hoga? <laughs> You've moved. <laughs> I have moved. And this is Don's used photo equipment. Yeah. Don't want, right here in say front with of, us, say stay with, with us. us. The, the Great, Great Wall, Wall of film. film, and yeah, so this guy calls up yesterday and says, oh, "No, I can't, I can't, I can't come in uh, uh, to, uh, to Saturday. I, I got to come in later because I'm, I'm running. The I'm tractor. mowing. I'm mowing. I'm running the tractor. I'm mowing the pasture. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Well, not a tractor, but a really big lawnmower. I'm and, mowing the field. And I, as soon as I heard that, I heard Green Acres bouncing. Mm. Like, Green Acres. That's exactly. Well, what I, I am married to Jaja. <laughs> it was it was Jaja, right? Jaja good boy. Not Ava, it was Jaja. Jaja good boy. <laughs> mm, see, there's, oh, there's benefits to moving out in the middle of BFE. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you're still with us, and I know most of you aren't. <laughs> yeah, a lot of um, people fall off. <laughs> so we're going to talk uh, about a couple things. Oh By the way, gosh, howdy, uh, how stuff. are you doing? Glad you're with us. We're going to have we're going to talk about DP review because we said we we're going. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're the resurrection, I think. We're going to talk no. about uh, Fuji Film, another possible resurrection. Oh, we do, yeah. It's like Who it's knows? like the, this Who is knows? the zombie edition. <laughs> Holga Week. Are we? Is there going to be a resurrection there? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll maybe see. we'll see. Maybe uh, it's the lost end of and it. found. That's a resurrection. Well, found. I don't know. Lost. But yeah, well, yeah. you lost it. Then you found it. There you go. There you go. A Kodak, another resurrection. Boy, this is the zombie edition, edition. Of, of film photography. And last but not least, uh, I have a couple, I at least have one, possibly two great little comments that we got. And guys, we really I do like comments. the comments. Especially the bad ones. And if you've never stayed till the very end, which I know most of you haven't, you really should stay because the silliness that we actually put on before the show, you get your little behind the scenes it's at the very end. It's the loosening this up, man. It's the, the, loosen the, the very, The <sighs> very end. Yeah. Stay to the bitter end, my after, friends. After the credits. See, after the credits roll. We, we took a little hint from the Marvel comics, and we just kind of... Yeah, we, we put some we put in some, uh, some credit scenes, some outtakes. <laughs> you might like them. You never know. Anyways, first it. and foremost, um, you like my shirt? Mm -hmm. no, no comment? No comment? Oklahoma, we're the wind. Oh, is that what that means? I thought oh, this was yeah. shirt was Jewish. Is this oi? Oi. Oi. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was, you know... Well, in that case, then my mom's half. My mom's from Oi. Uh, there you go, Oi. <laughs> and my dad's from Texas. I got. I got a. It's a mixed marriage. <laughs> this was a three dollar thrift store find. It looked like a nice shirt. I'm wow. like, I like red, right? Wow. It, 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 I figured it'd be in the fifty cent pile. Oh man. <laughs> man. <clears throat> Not the three dollar pile. Well, I tell you what. If you come into the store, I'll tell you why all the trees in Texas point north. Anyways, uh, with that. Mm -hmm. DP Review, Todd. Yes. Uh, we said in the last video that DP Review essentially is back from the dead, or at least Wait, it didn't who, officially who die. It? Who owned it? At the time, it was being owned by Amazon. So at first it Amazon. started out as an uh, independent publication. Independent. Then it gets bought by Amazon. DP Review, of course, being Digital Photography Review. Yep. Bought by Amazon. It had had a 25-year run, and Amazon started doing a bunch of layoffs, and DP Review was one of the uh, well, well, was caught up in the tragedy. In that, I guess they just gobbled it up in that 25 years. Yes, they gobbled it up. But I'm saying recently they had some some layoffs, and they said yes. DP Review, we don't need you anymore. Well, uh, bye bye. Bye bye. We're not going to take over yes. all the world. I mean, I stopped reading it when they no longer did film cameras. Yeah. Uh, oh wait. Oh wait, they never. Did. <laughs> <laughs> now, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. If, if they did film cameras, please put that in the comments below. Uh, uh, I have never read well, a film they, they, photography review. We have that. talked about them talking about analog, though. I have yeah. read in Digital Photography Magazine. They oh. they talk about film, how to get um, how to get that film look Looking with your digital your photos, yeah. and it's like, well, buy how film. about just shoot film? Yeah, buy film. <laughs> so much easier. Yes. So much Works. easier. But does. DP review. What is the scoop, Todd? Well, I was reading along since our last conversation on this whole thing and uh, found out that gear action, gear okay. something, gear photo gear action photography, picked it up, bought it. Okay. And Ge revived Gear it. being photo gear. Photo gear. That's, I had to look and check, and yes, it's photo gear. <laughs> not, not, not motor gear. Oh, <laughs> not, yeah, not it's cars. It's photo gear, not car. But not, I, not gear heads. But gear, yeah. And uh, they picked it up and says, hey, we have a home for it. Which, 
uh, you know, I guess whenever you say, hey, we're throwing the trash out, then, then all the people come up and says, I'll take it. You know, it's like they put it on the curb. One man's trash is another yeah. man's treasure. Yeah, so Amazon put it out on the curb and gear, gear. Curb alert. Curb alert. Come, come pick it up. And gear, you want it. Uh, gear, gear something picked it up. <laughs> I'll get the correct name. Yeah, yeah, by one. the time we look it up. I, I knew it right before we started talking. <laughs> All right, so that's good news, guys. Yeah. For, if you're a digital photographer, uh, DP Review's still out there, still going to thrive. And still will 25 be years worth of uh, no, archive no, uh, articles still going to be available for you because I'm, you know, everybody wants to shoot a 25-year-old digital camera. Well, there, there <laughs> is a little subgroup out there getting that's them, right yeah. we when yeah. we discuss that because yeah. we're coining the term vintage digital the, well, i don't know if we exactly coined it but we're pushing it. we're, we're, we're claiming credit for it if you're shooting digital on a 3.5 floppy that's vintage uh, did oh, di vintage digital vintage digital. if i can that's spit right. it out right that's right so yes um that's the first zombie that's the that's the first return from that's the first lazarus yeah. that's one lazarus Oh, oh, oh. Is it going to fall? Is it going to fall? No. Yes, it's yes, going. Yes, it's, it's going. We have a bot. We have a, we have another one. Uh, Stay tuned. Stay. He's not going to make it. He's no. not going to make it. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, damn. <laughs> what did you do? Did you? you... I did not touch it. Uh, well, <laughs> Immediately, uh, I get blamed. <laughs> yeah, now I can see it because it's big. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't okay, anyway. We might actually have to leave this bit in. Oh, I know, that was hilarious. But I don't make the outtake real. <laughs> uh, now he can't make the outtake real. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. All right, so for our second Lazarus contender. Yes. I mean, it was Lazarus who came back from the dead, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was Sunday, kinda, Sunday school. Kind of pissed. <laughs> kind of mad. I was sleep. I, I was I having a nice nap. Got it out of the way, and now I have to go through it again. Mm. The okay. uh, but yes, but the next thing is, is that a customer came in and said, "Hey, hey, hey." Wait, 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 wait. You've got customers. Yes. And they come in. They speak friendly to you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Until, I haven't until, been in in a while. What have you changed? Yeah, I know. <laughs> No, I'm just worn down and out. And it's oh, just, I see. So I'm just like, here's your film. Mm, here's your film. <laughs> so the, the, the person told me, uh, Fuji is going to st is to start making film in Japan again. Wait, wait. First of all, I'm I'm shocked. Fuji's Fuji film is still making film. This is we're not talking about Ko Fuji. No, Ko Fuji. But actually, purebred Ko Fuji film made in Japan. Fuji. Made in Japan. Now, what I don't mm. know. Uh, the person said that's a company. Evidently, they they just shift through all of their their news review. I'm mean, not news, the news releases from okay. Fujifilm, right? And of course, it's all in J Japanese, and they have to. And then that's take why it. we didn't get it. That's why we didn't get it, <laughs> and they have to take it, convert it to English, and then read through it. And okay. then they found out that that Fuji Film will be making domestic Fuji again. Now I do not know domestic for the United States. I don't know if that means for Japan or the U.S. <laughs> well, domestic is more likely just the Japan. Well, right now it's domestic for us. But in the past it was made in Japan and shipped over. So I don't know if they're going to make it in Japan just for Japan. And, and keep then, it there? And keep Kofuji here. Um, <laughs> or if it's going to, I'll go back over there and then come back over here. Mm, you know, those smart Americans, they can't tell the difference. We, yeah, we leave them with Kofuji. We got them fooled. <laughs> we have them fooled. They think it's they But think it's, it's really Fuji. interesting what's going on with it because uh, if, if they're bringing that back, does that mean they're bringing back MPS? Does it mean they're bringing back Velvia? It doesn't mean they're bringing some of their name brands back with the... Okay, sounds with, exciting, guys. Uh, yeah, so this is a... Uh, this is a uh, a zombie that may have friends with it. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Zombies with benefits. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and it's really interesting. So we'll, we'll try to keep, a, 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 well, I'll, I'll sit there and say, I'll keep an eye on that whenever a customer told me. So right. I'll listen for other customers to update me. Well, on so one. since it was a customer or a viewer, please uh, add to the comments below. Absolutely. I'm just going to keep saying that. If you, ha if, you, if you want to add to this conversation, please, please add a comment below. Let us know. Yeah. Um, we only know as much as we know. <laughs> and that's a there's a limit to this and we don't know much more than that mm -mm, not at it's uh all. but it's just really interesting what's going on with all of this because it's just uh like i said whenever they stopped i thought it was over completely and now it's like okay well we're making it but we don't know what's exactly going to be made so we'll, we'll have to keep up with that but this is actually good news
Yes, it is, it is good news. Any, well, anytime you get a film that comes back, I mean, or I remember, I remember when Kodak promised else. us two new films. Yeah, well. we did get one of them. I'm still, I still think they owe us one. Yes, one new film. The, well, they, w the first one was in the new. It was a return. I mean, it was, it was, a, re an it was a return. Uh, it was a return. Yeah, a return. which was the Kodak Gold, and it was 120. in the one twenty. Right. We yeah, got you that. Got was that. a return. Now the the other one was supposed to be a brand spanking from scratch new, and have not gotten that. Yeah. Oh, you know, speaking I, I just, of uh, speaking of Kodak, yeah. Uh, a little aside, they were in the news because of the new movie that came out. Yes, Oppenheimer. Yeah, and and you know, you and I both. I didn't read as much into it, but I, I thought it was interesting. I was actually wanting to read into it because when you say Kodak made a new film for a movie, I'm like, Ooh, oh yeah, that's can the, I get some of that in my that, camera? That was the headline. That was the, that was that. But technically, it really wasn't a new film. It was, it was not a new film. It was just a new format for the film. It was the PXX, the double X black and white. Yeah. Oppenheimer was filmed, was shot in three different films. So uh, you like, don't have any, do you? Oh, yes, yeah, you do. Yeah, right there. So. Okay, what was it? They, they did it in three different films uh, the, to represent three different views. Right. And you know, like when it was shot in this film, it was representing one view. Now, the thing is, is that BXX has been used in the past for many movies, Rage and Bull being one of the right, most right. famous ones. And, but it's been used for other movies, for TV commercials. It's been used for music videos. It's been used a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's just never been used in 65 millimeter format. So they just made a bigger format uh, is yeah. really all they did. Well, it's and, and smaller probably than a 70. special run. It, it, it was. It was smaller than the 70 millimeter, millimeter and larger than everything else. Because okay. they have a 70 millimeter film. But anyway, they, they just made it in a different format and called it a new film, which is kind of... Gee. Well, yeah. So what I understand, and I could be wrong about this, guys. I'm wrong about a lot of things. But when they sh and they did this for IMAX, yeah. And when they shoot it for IMAX, what they do is instead of taking uh, instead of from uh, from sprocket to sprocket, that's in your picture is going to be horizontal. That actually the picture is horizontal with the sprockets on the top and the bottom. So that way they get a longer shot in there. Mm -hmm. But I was a little bit I was a little bit disappointed to know that it was just their double X film, which is either the five two 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 or the seven two two two, and you can already get that from Kodak movie stuff, just or or you can get it from Cinestill as double X, right, right, or yeah, any other uh, who uh, now um, Legacy Photo, Lotus. Right. Well, what, what do they call theirs though? It's just it's just. Be, it's, I was it a Panther it. something or other? Yeah, one? Panther City. Panther City. So yeah. you, you can get that film, but you know, I was hoping it was like a totally new flavor. Totally of new. Film. Totally new. But no, nope. that that was not the case at all. It, that, it's just kind of strange. But but it was really interesting that that it mixed it in there with with three different films. So you'll you'll see three different types of films yeah. throughout the film, and it's doing well at the box office. Um, I just don't see movies at the walk-in. I just go to the drive-in to oh. see movies. So. I don't know. I understand it's a long movie too. So oh, I, you three know, I, plus hours. Yes. I, I I call it quits after two. So yeah, when they have an intermission, <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing Gone with the Wind, and it's like okay, here's a 15 million intermission. So they wanted you to go out and buy popcorn. Yeah. My but, intermission yeah. is I stop watching the movie. I come back the next day. I'm I'm yeah. not staying for a three hour movie. So yeah, that was another thing. But the Kodak right now is just. They're getting on my last nerve, but that's another story. Okay. All right. So uh, hopefully we're not moving too terribly quickly, and no, everybody's no. keeping up. Uh, but I as I as I have to say, we're still going to talk about Holga Week. That's coming up. Uh, hold hold to that one. We got a very lovely comment at the end, and and of course okay, well, at the very end. About now, hold on, stop. <laughs> He's misbehaving. Uh, at the very end, obviously, we have the behind the scenes. Please check those out. Yeah. But right now, we're going to talk about what did you find in the store recently? Because you know you are still cleaning oh. up this place, and you're yeah. still little fi finding little things. And I'd like to make this like a regular thing where I can show well, you something special yeah. that he's found. What have you uh, found, Todd? Well, I, I kind of like this one. It's a Yashica 28 millimeter 2.8 lens, and I had the the styrofoam with it and everything, but then I separate it out so I could go talk go you look it up. You set it down somewhere? <laughs> I set it down somewhere and that was the end of it. But in mint condition like it's a pretty new lens. it is a Yashica lens 24 millimeter 2.8 ml. Very cool. I even had a price for it and of course I didn't didn't write the price down. No you, you probably left that with the styrofoam. I did. <laughs> and but I, I am running across all sorts of little things and it I am hoping that after Hoga Week, 
we do a second run through the store and do sort of a side by side comparison of what we did a few months ago. Mm. Yeah, and then just kind mm. of see the differences of it. Now we talked about this before. We and, did. And I think that, I still see a lot of stuff though. <laughs> yeah, and that's part of the reason I have <laughs> probably ulcers starting. Ah. But yeah, it's Cause see, it's, I've already moved. He's the one that's moving next. So. Yeah, well, it's uh, I am going through things, and I am, uh, and it's all me. I mean, I haven't had, you've been busy with your stuff, and so I just have held, had all this by myself. I, I know, it's hard to imagine and I actually have a life. Yeah, no. I but, mean a wife. Uh, yeah, I mean, but you had a too. bunch of people help you with your your. I, I, pay, I paid some big strong men to move a lot of stuff. Yes. And right now, uh, and, and it's, but anyway, that's another that's another that is story. another story. But yeah. uh, I went to uh, a local place in Waxahachie because mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm looking for things to help with the the farm, the ranch, and and of course they, I said yeah, just moved here, and they said well where'd you move from? I said well I said north of here, and they're like well how north? I said well obviously not too north because of my accent. And they're like, where'd you move from Dallas? I said, no, I moved from Allen. They go, yeah, that was Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's northern, like, northern oh, Dallas. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. I mean, all They probably have so many people moving from Dallas down there. I'm, they're like I'm getting 30 tired minutes of it. north of Dallas, and yet you still think I'm Dallas. And I moved 25 minutes below Dallas, and now I'm in another country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually in the country. Yeah. So, yep, all absolutely. right, so I have that. So uh, we're still going to talk about Holga Week. That's coming up, guys. That is one, one, one more chance to write, but we're going to talk about. Todd, you've got some new Kodak films. You know, a couple of videos ago, we talked about, it. okay, now that they have overstocked Portra, yeah. and Portra's dating is like, anyway, they're having a slight sell on the one, some of the, the 400 and the gold 120. Uh, now that they've overstocked, they got time to actually go back and get stuff that they stopped making a while back. And guess what? They did. Excellent. Excellent. But now so, this is not the new stuff that I wanted. I had 300 rolls of each ordered on order. 300 rolls of each. And I got 40 rolls of each. The first one, <laughs> Ultra Max. Only 40. Single rolls. Now, I have seen these things supposedly pop up in three packs somewhere off and on. But yeah. evidently, that's Kodak giving it out to their special friends, their uh, winners. You're their not winners a special for, friend? No, I'm not. I thought you were on the list. No, I'm on the naughty list. You're on their list, are you? But it's the wrong <laughs> list. So their special friends get the discounted way cool pricing and early. But anyway, Ultramax is back. But my favorite that's coming back is the Color Plus. Got 40 rolls of this. I'm only down to like, I've sold over half of this stuff right here. And these are resurrection. These are coming back. These are really cool because this means that they're finally getting caught up with this restocking of things. And that maybe then they'll start getting the, the future, the once in future thing. So when I got this, when, my, when I got the notice that, hey, these things are, are available, I called up and I said, yes, yes, yes. And uh, then I said, man, if they could just bring... Pro image back. Just throw dirt on me because it'll knock me over and kill me. I mean, I mean, I just. If only. The shock, the if shock. If only you could have pro image Kodak back. Kodak heard and said, hey, let's give it a ride. And they, try. they finally listened to you? Yeah, because they wanted to see if I would fall over. <laughs> <laughs> pro image. So I, right after uh, I got this stuff in, and about a week or two later, this, pro image. This has been off the shelf for years. Okay. And uh, this is one of my favorite films at the time. As Pro Image. That's not a slide film, is it? No. Okay. It's C41. Okay. It's kind of like, uh, well, it's kind of like Portra 100. <laughs> it's kind of like the Kodak Arrow Color film. Okay. It, but it's it's actually uh, was made for Europe. And for a long time, it only only was uh, uh, available in, in Europe. Hmm. And now it's available in the U.S. And then now it's available back in the U.S. August 2025 dating on that. August 2025 dating on this. What a coincidence. Uh, I no. think not. So it all came out at the same time. Three things that had been gone for, I think, I haven't had it on the shelf for Pro Image for a few years. Oh, no, you haven't. Yeah. And uh, I, But now they're all back. The dating on them is really important because it's like it's two years out. Okay. And uh, that's whenever you know. Well, if and I can't shoot five this, rolls of film no, but in two this, years, th th this is the thing, though, and the reason why I say this, and this is to me a little, a little, 
uh, tidbit on on how you kind of tell things are backing up. This is what tipped me off that Kodak had an overabundant supply of something. Okay. Uh, this right here is 10 2024. Okay. Portra 400. You know, you're, whenever you so normally it, when you get brand new stuff, you're going to have at least two years shelf life you're on gonna have, it's, it. But you're not here. With this, well, exactly. Because this is like 10 months behind that. Yeah. Okay. And that's how you kind of know mm. that the things are or backing up and sitting on the shelf and not getting and not being purchased. But of course, it just went up 20%, 20%, 20% two, two years in a row. And then they made a just a, evidently a, a cruise liner boat load of stuff. <laughs> and it's after the increases in it knocking it out of the wedding photography industry. I think a lot of wedding photographers says, hey, good time to go digital. Then, you know that's the sad part is you, you know when they you, lost a they, they lost, lost a, a really market. Lar large market. I mean there are people who specialized in film wedding photography, and I still do have some, but not but not as many, as many, not nearly not as many. Near. And uh, so it's really tough. And you really found out that that they were oversupplying it is whenever Kodak again went to their special winner friends. Special. Ooh, they're winners, um, and uh, <laughs> started dumping it off on them at really cheap pricing. Thank you, Kodak. <laughs> Just way to stab the, yeah, the brick and mortars it, it, in the back know, on that one, buddy. A company that's been in business over 100 years, over 100 you years. would figure they would know how to do this by now. Well, but they do. They do. But they apparently, they, somebody slept. They, they, they treat their, their, their winners uh, special, and everybody else is like, <sighs> you know. So, again, I'm not getting into that, though. Mm, no, no, don't go. Don't but go I am right. grateful, so grateful that at least they got the Color Plus back. You know, remember when you got in trouble for saying that the carded was discontinued? No, that was for the, ult the Ultra Max. Yeah, that was for this one. The, the carded version. The that, carded. Just, that just means the, it had the little extra the yeah, cardboard. Yeah, it, it, so. it had this little part. Right? It had the hanger on it. The hanger on it. This is, car this is carded. This is non-carded. And you got in trouble uh, well, because they heard you. Because I didn't say carded. I, I just said it was, it was gone. You said it's being discontinued. It has been discontinued. But it was it was it, be, it was the it, it, carded it version. It was the carded version that was so. discontinued. And um, yeah, of course they got right. They, next day they called me on that one. <laughs> we can't have these rumors going out. Like yeah, that. No. yeah. And so it's just it's it's funny. But it, again, the funny thing about that was is I only have two hundred followers on on uh, Twitter. And, and, yeah, it, and they all heard you. Oh, uh, every last it went one of them around the freaking world, <laughs> and, and none of them were Kodak. <laughs> it was yeah. Well, they, they somebody called and told them, <laughs> you know, they had, hey, look at so and so's tweet. Yeah. So anyway, that that's that's uh, but I'm grateful that they got mm. they, they they are starting to fill their 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 um, list out again. Okay. Yeah, but right. I went and looked, and it still said not selling. Cannot place orders for it. So I haven't gotten the updated price sheeting. I Yet still prefer it. the three packs. I like the three packs. I do too, and that's why I'm selling so many. Of Are you the, selling them in threes? No, uh, twos. <laughs> Just two. I'm selling a lot of two, three pack, three packs, two, three packs. Okay. And I did sell a big bunch of them to somebody once. Uh, oh, okay. It, the, the Fuji's flying off the shelf. Well, I, it was the uh, it was the Ultra Max that was in the three pack, right? The Ultra Max and the Gold. Oh, the, the Gold. Packs. You don't have the Gold either. Yeah, that's no, right. no. No, uh, no, I don't. No gold 35 no, millimeter. I don't have any in 35. Oh. And I've got hmm. 400 rolls of that on order. Hmm. And uh, again, I have 300. Maybe each, but it's they'll one of those watch things. this video and, and realize no, you need No, they won't film. watch it. But somebody will tell them. <laughs> somebody will watch it and tell them. <laughs> well, maybe if you tweeted about it. Uh, you know, I know, I know. All I, right, I'd so we're that. getting a little long in the tooth here, guys. We I are. tell you what, let's go ahead and we're going to discuss Hulk Week. And I guess the, the big question is... Uh, will we have Hoga Week? Will we have Hoga Week? Because I was actually <laughs> asked by Photo Deox, uh, who actually did a very lovely video last year about Hoga Week, all that kind of great stuff. We lo we love it when p other uh, other organizations well, participate. Well, man they're Week manufacturers, as well. so I mean that's a big deal. It's not and, just a store. It's a and and the fact that they they want to do another Hoga Week video, and they, as a matter of fact, they sent me a DM and Instagram. It's like, hey, are you doing Hoga Week again? And I'm like, mm, I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. I don't know, Todd. Do you think we should do Hulk Week again? I think we should make a T-shirt. <laughs> we should bring the T-shirts back from the dead. Bring the, the T-shirts back. 
Uh, uh, the other stuff is too much work. <laughs> yes, it, it, it is a lot of work. It is. It, it, I mean, you had 240 shooters in 28, six countries. Yeah, I, I, ha I have oh zero stats with him right now, but I, yeah. I know we did break almost all the records last year. Yeah. Um, one of these one of these days we're going to actually break the 500 record. I would love to have 500 photographers. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know we're getting pretty close. I don't think we broke 300 photographers last no, year. No. So breaking 300 would be nice. Uh, breaking the 500 would be even better. And and, and my biggest my biggest thing is I want at least 50 percent female photographers out there. It's, that's that's tough. That's tough. But it, it is very tough. But it's worth the effort. The, it is. Um, the thing is, is that uh, the other thing about this is that we've all we talked about. I think it's, we've talked about it, we don't know if it's going to happen or not, but adding another category. Adding another category would be nice. And yeah. I, I, I know I've thrown the idea out But on I mean, Twitter. if we're going to have it, we might as well add to it. But if you're not going to do it, we, we don't need to talk oh, about you're, it. Oh, so you're saying if we're not going to do Hogle. Look, then let's go. Guys, yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing Hogle. Oh, okay. How can we not do Hogle Week? We actually get a lot of fun. We make zero yeah. money from Hogle Week. Oh, God. But yeah. we have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, yeah. In fact, and, we kind of lose some money sometimes. <laughs> the the well, gifts, the prizes. Well, the, I mean, the effort that we These are put nice into prizes it. that are going, the packages, prizes that are going out. I mean, yes. it's, it's really neat. And if it wasn't for shipping, I would enjoy prizes. Oh, it's gosh, The fact yes. that I actually the had shipping the shipping is, is insane on, on some places. But we are doing Holga Week, and yeah. Holga Week is going to be when? October. Oh, gosh. What, what what's, what's a good date in October? The 1st through the 7th. Yeah, let's, let's go. The 1st through the yeah. 7th of every year. Next year, we may change it. No. <laughs> No, because everybody's been trained. That uh, it's the first or the seventh. Uh, okay. Everybody's been trained. You October know exactly one when it was. Through seven. Uh, you know, I, I love. And that's only two months away now. I, I love Holga Jen dearly, but the fact that she had some uh, month in the summer, I realized Canada. You want to go out and go shoot? It's like we have a lot of complaints about people. Uh, October is freezing cold where they're at. I'm like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then somebody. No, but, but no matter what date you pick, it's gonna uh, be cold. Somebody somewhere. was asking. It's like, well. What about the, uh, there's supposed to be some fancy uh, solar eclipse that's going to happen oh, or, no. uh, happen a few weeks later. I'm like, no, 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 no you don't no. get to do that. And then I had one more question, all great Holga Week questions, because people are starting to ask, yes. is Holga Week coming back? Uh, the, oh, the interest is huge. And this, I believe, is also from Photo Deox. Uh, are you going to accept the, the modified Holga that has an uh, electronic shutter? Are you? Probably not. <laughs> I, I, you know, because I, I, you know, there, unless we had a mod modification category, yeah, I think uh, unless oh, it's, ooh, yeah, but we don't, we don't accept the digital whole game, right, 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 because right. It's, it's like really taking some of the, uh, the, the characteristics the, the, away. The, the unpredictability out of, out yeah. of you know, when the you character. when all of a sudden you uh, actually fine tune a shutter, well then you know what you're going to get. Yeah. It's like well where's the fun in that? There is no fun. But also this year. There are two new Hoga cameras. Right. Yes, and that's that's fun. It's a 35 millimeter with a flash built in. Right. And the second one was of half frame. A half frame. I heard Holga somebody tell me about that. Half it was a half frame, frame Holga. Now, yes, that will be qualifying. I haven't seen it yet, but I will need to get my hands on one as soon right, as possible. Right. 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 Uh, well, as soon as I, I'm going to have to do some order placing, and as soon as I some do, arm twisting. But I have no idea when they're coming in. Yeah. And, but they well, have, if they're smart, it's before Holga Week. If, <laughs> yeah, I no, know. No, no, I, I mean know. the people who are the, making them. Thinking, well, the people hmm, who are making them and distributing them. Maybe we them. should jump on this Holga Week bandwagon yeah, thing. Yeah, because, I mean, this is, this, is, this is an international effort. And oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah, I mean, we are, wide. We, are, we are covered, and we have 26, 8 countries that, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. that are following. At least somebody's out and there. And they don't all speak English. No, so that's a lot more, t a lot more impressive. <laughs> it is. It is. So it you is. have to go through the the translations and everything to figure it out. But yeah, there. I think that there's a lot of interesting and fun things that may be in addition to our new things with Hoga Week that's coming out. And we're gonna have to kind of work on that and see. Now that he has a little bit more time to pay attention to to the to the Hoga right week competition. We're going to game look on. at those. It yeah. is game on. Yeah. Well, so one of the categories this is be fun, we, that was it's discussed be fun. was. Um, because right now we have Holga Street, we have Holga Portrait, we have Holga Pinhole, and we have Holga Nature. Okay, yeah. those are the, and then of course we have the select category, which essentially is a, uh, a the participants pe people's pick. choice award. Okay, yeah. so the people you, who so shoot, everybody, and all that. of the four categories are, are automatically entered in for the the uh, Holga Select one. Yeah. So we were wondering, should we add another category to the Holga lineup? And yeah, and we, you did a little thing on that. Too, I did right? a little poll. 
Uh, and I think Holga Effect was like the best one because, you know, sometimes, popular, yeah. sometimes people do things that only can be done on a Holga or they get their light leaks or any <laughs> number of things yes, like that. Yes. And, and it's just the, the cool mess ups that really make the photo. Absolutely. And people would like to, uh, to, to submit for that, you know, it's like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, well, I can't use this for portrait. I can't use this for that. Uh, just use it for the, whoops category <laughs> the, the whoops category yes i mean i've had a back come off my holga more than once and, yeah or slip and like and, and that uh, creates a very interesting purple photo <laughs> yeah it's just kind of it's really interesting so we've got now now we've got a time to really concentrate on this and next door i've got five different hogas that i have bought since the last time and got in here early so that i would definitely have them for this event right I've got over 100 Hogas next door. Ooh. Over 100. 25 of them are 20 each of, of the different Hogas. So I've got lots and lots of Hogas next door that I'm going to bring out in a week or two. Okay. By, by the time our next video hopefully comes out. Which is, again, why I really need to clean an area off in here so I can bring them over here and just go. He needs a Hoga display. Uh, I display. need a Hoga. A Hoga. Oh, shrine. <laughs> It's coming. <laughs> it's, it's coming, coming guys. Yeah. Holger Shrine. And then, you know, at some point, you may see it in here with police tape around it. You know, mm. the crime scene, don't cry. It's a shrine. We all knew he would he would snap. <laughs> yeah, don't don't breathe on the glass. <laughs> don't breathe on Don't touch it. That, but, yeah, yeah um, I, I, we've, I've got It's coming. The tomorrow. train is coming, guys. Yeah, and hopefully we're going to be a little bit more prepared. A little bit more prepared. I got a couple of Holgos with me. <gasps> so this is Old Faithful. You guys, this is my first Holga, still yeah, near yeah. and dear to my heart and love it very much. Yeah, um, oh, he's letting me touch it. I'm uh, letting you touch it. Now this one. The GCFN. This one, uh, yeah. which looks dirty. Yeah. Kind of nasty. I'm taking your word for it. All right, well, because okay, you can't see it. the spots. Well, you can see some brown spots on it, things like this. Probably a couple little spider webs on it and things like that. Yeah. This is the infamous, uh, only seen on Twitter until now, uh, possibly on Instagram. This is the uh, Weather Holga. Oh, wow. So every now, so, and I say Weather Holga because I actually put it on a tree outside and it's been out there do, for... Do you like drive a nail through it? No, 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 no. It's been hanging on a tree. Yeah. So you know, you know the old Indian rock, oh, old, yeah, the old Indian yeah. rock thing. So, so you had to, you had to take it off the tree to bring it. it yes, it and this is the time for See, it. There's like some squirrels have been chewing on it. Wow. Uh, there's a spider over here. I mean, it's pretty nasty and dirty, and I could not leave Weather no, Holga at can't. the old house. You can't. They make so, kind of a bomb squad on you. So like, do do on check tree. on Instagram because I'm going to put a reel of me removing this and putting it on a new tree at the the new ranch. So yeah, so, awesome. Uh, Weather Holga did survive. It has come with me. Oh, uh, Old Faithful is is with me as well. Yeah, I can't go anywhere without this one. Yeah, Hol Holga Week is coming. Guys. I am honored and privileged. Pri privileged. 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 It's a big word. I don't use it very often. <laughs> <laughs> to to have. To be in the presence of Weather Hoga. Weather Hoga. I'm telling you. It's one of my favorite jokes. Yeah. Is it sunny outside? I don't know. I don't Let's know. check Weather Hoga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Weather yeah. Hoga is casting a shadow. It's sunny. It's sunny. All right. So, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we had a comment, and let me go find it really quick like a bunny here. Uh, comment, comment. It's comment. Viewer mail time here. All right. And, you know, the comment, we're getting nice comments, which wow. is great. And this is uh, from somebody who, who's, goes as grumpy <laughs> just grumpy not grumpy, grumpy. well there's there's numbers grumpy uh -huh. nice video again always learn more about photography and other things i mean commercial bread machines in 1928 who would have thunk it you guys keep it up <laughs> so yeah that's one of the things i always hear that people say it's like that's the best thing since sliced bread mm -hmm. when you ha really have to be more specific because sliced bread the, it sliced bread's like hundreds of years old but the sliced bread machine commercial sliced bread machine invented in 1928 Eight. then people will say well wow. Be betty white is older than that so it's like it's the best thing <laughs> since uh, uh betty, betty white. white and it's like well yes betty white 1927 yeah, so yeah. It, you, it is but, what it is it's coming up on we're five years it's, we're five years away from the the hundred year anniversary hundred year anniversary wow, we that. need it we need to do something special for that i know if we're around <laughs> uh this one's from d we have woohoo! A new D seventy six is good. If they make it uh, in one liter kits, it we is got ourselves size, yeah. a winner. I think it is a different size. Different sizes. Uh, yeah. So yes. A new yes, packaging. Yes. Well, I've been getting so much backorder stuff on that yeah. I haven't had time to get any 
thing like that back in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've just been, I, and I can always tell because it's like I look at my my emails and it goes, you've been charged. Uh, you have a new charge transaction. And that's Congratulations, you've been charged. You've been charged. And I go look and go, oops. And so, yeah, I've been getting a lot of those this past mm, month. Whoops. And they, it they always happen. seems to be about this time of the year that that happens. Uh, we have this one from Telly Addict. Mm -hmm. Strange that Nikon or Canon see the future of cameras as being digital only when they could give their uh, consumers a choice of film and digital. Yes. Considering his, uh, film is far from dead. Oh, I, I think I've heard dead. that somewhere. Film is far from dead. Yeah. Uh, they are missing the trick by not producing new film cameras. They would sell millions. Yes. I, we've been oh, saying that yeah, for years. Oh, well, yeah, we have been. And it's like... the. Pentax, Wide Lux, Hoga, uh, you know, then all the other little plastic ones that are made new. Right. Uh, there, there's a the Kodak uh, Ektachrome. The, the H35. The, the Rito 3Ds. Yeah. I mean, people are and that having 3D fun. 3D is still an awesome. The Wiggle camera is the still wiggle. awesome. And it just kind of goes out of phase, but then they come back later. Now, I'll, do you have another one? Because I've got something I want to say then. Uh, yes. I'm going to go. This is from Colin. Still watching. <laughs> and, an and an Australian here. Yes, yes. Granted, living in Europe. Plenty of shooters uh, in Australia when I was living there, uh, where it's, uh, and it's where I started my film journey. Great mm -hmm. videos, lads. Yeah, yeah. We asked if anybody Thank from you from Australia. Australia. Good day, mate. Even yeah. though you're in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. The, um... <laughs> <laughs> what a roll. Way to roll with it. Good job. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we did the last one. You said, if there's anybody from Australia. And then Let us know. Comment. We had a comment. Somebody said, yeah, I'm from... Uh, New Zealand, the neighbor. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> doesn't count. Well, it's close <laughs> enough. But yeah, I, I did, since the last time we've done this, th this is the fun part too, I have had uh, people come in uh, who have seen our wall, and I think I may have talked about this, this is like somebody from Salt Lake, but I had two people come in who watch our videos, right? and came in, uh, and I think they're up around Allen McKinney area, so they don't get into Dallas often. <laughs> okay. And they really don't. Wait, wait, wait. But as I told you at the beginning of this, yeah. Alan actually it's, is it's Dallas. Part of Dallas. Well, Dallas. they came from far north Dallas. Okay, far, far north Dallas. And, and they bought film. And they they came in because they wanted to see, he was visiting his friend. He well, said, I want to see the great wall of film. And came in and bought film. And I've had several people who come in and say, yeah, yeah, I've watched your videos and I want to buy film. And it's fun because they're coming in. Then I also had... Um, um, Marco tell me, he says, yeah, he says, uh, I, I got some ortho. Oh, I thought Mar you were going to say Marco's going to say, yeah, I lo we love your videos. We love, <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he doesn't have time to watch. Oh. He's busy. Man, the guy is busy. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff they're working on. And then the photo laps are, they're, the, the film being dropped off is just gangbusters right now. That's good. It is good. Uh, so, but the, he said that they had somebody come in and said, do you have the new Orto film? Yes. And, and he, the person looked down and goes, we just got this in. Yes, here. <laughs> and he <clears> said, <throat> it's, it's great to have somebody come in and ask for something that just came in the door about a few minutes before them. Yeah. And he goes, I think that now he kind of understands why it's fun and exciting here is that when you have things that not everybody else has, I, well, people I think, come in I think Pentex hit the nail on the head when they said yeah. they wanted a, a, a winder thumb shutter. Winder. They want a thumb winder shutter because it's like there's just, you know, the sound of a shutter, the advancing of the film. Not a little the, the, not a little wheel, weak, but weak, actually, weak, weak, weak. you know, there are some things. I mean, it, Leica yes. knows this too. I yeah. mean, it, it's just there's something about the quality of these things. When they're done right, the way they sound, the way they feel, that's what makes it's film It's amazing how many of the younger fun. generation just are excited about that concept of the thumb wind with a, with a point and shoot. Now, having said all yeah. that, I don't want to go back to a dial phone and have zero all the way down at the end. That, that's, that's not going to happen, okay? I would. I love it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. No, actually, I want that sound like in, in, on a continuous run. <laughs> That would put me right to sleep, man. I All love right. it. Watch well, he's gone overboard, guys, and that's it for us. So, uh, as usual, yes. please do share, like, subscribe. Yes, thank you for the comments. Thank you for coming in and buying. Thank know. you for the subscribers. Thank you for the, yeah. Oh, the, my goodness. Uh, thank yeah. you for the subscribers. Wow, we're, we are just short of 1,400. We are dangerously close to being infamous. Oh, no. Dangerously no. close. And maybe but, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
Uh, AC, 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 lock up. He gets lock up. Uh, talk about. Yeah. Guys, that's uh, going to be it for us. My heart, my heart. We're out of here. All right. All right. Whew. Man, alive. You said, where did you say we're going to lunch? Uh, I, well, the, the. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you didn't say that. Fly and fish. Flying Fly. fish. That's the, that's the standard go-to. Mmm. But do we want hamburgers? Ooh, hamburgers. Yeah. Mm, you should come up with a little bit. A little, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. over. See, now I'm, yeah, okay. There. Gee, Todd, that's a little close to you. <laughs> I think that's just going to have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Lucille Ball's Christmas tree, man. Uh, I keep cutting it until it's like that big. And until it's small, tiny. Yeah, but it's even. <laughs> Put it on the beauty filter. Yeah, the fil no, 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 that's gone. The beauty filter. The the, the the self the 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 talking filter. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah when yeah, I yeah. get tired, things slip out. That shouldn't. The one that the one that keeps you out of trouble. Yeah, well, <laughs> tries to. Tries to. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> my, oh my. All right. Pardon me. Consider pardon me. yourself excused. <laughs> Sorry. Good thing this thing went on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we ready? Ready, Fred. We're as ready as we're going to get. Yes. <clears throat>